hello everyone welcome back to my channel today I'll be showing you how to add color grid effect using Photoshop to start off I'm going to create a square document by going to file new and then research the word and height to 1400 so that it is a square as we are going to be creating a grid which means the document needs to have equal sides next I am going to click on the view menu go down to show and then grid so that we have a grid layer on the background now I am going to click on the edit menu go right down to preferences and then guide grid and slices option here I'm going to change the grid line every from inches to percent and then change the 1 to 20 so that it is 20 percent and the subdivisions to 1 this makes the squares bigger which means fewer columns and rows once that has been done I'm quickly going to create a new layer and rename it to grid so I remember the references for later moving on I'm going to select the single row marquee tool and click on the first row in the grid like so then press down on the shift key to select the rest of the rows if by mistake the selection is not in line with the row press ctrl and z to undo now I am going to do the same for columns by selecting the single column marquee tool. The next step is to go to the edit menu, fill and then change the contents used to black and click OK. Followed by the select menu then click deselect now I'll get rid of the grid line by going to view show then click on grid to untick it get into the more exciting part I'll now open a picture as usual go to file open then browse for the image you would like to use after opening the image I'm going to select it by going to the select menu then select all followed by edit copy now that I have copied the image I am going back to the grid effect document and selecting the background layer to edit then paste spatial and paste it in place now I am going to convert layer 1 to smart object by clicking on this icon and selecting convert to smart object as you can see the image does not fit the grid properly so I'll need to resize it to do this activate free transform tool by pressing ctrl and T on the keyboard then resize the image as you desire and once done click on the confirmation mark to commit the change now I am going to utilize the grid layer that I created earlier so making sure I have selected the grid layer I am going to use the magic wand tool and click on a few squares randomly in the grid to turn white when selecting more than one square remember to hold down the shift key next I am going to create a new layer under the grid layer and rename it white to do this select layer 1 which is image layer and click the create a new layer icon remaining on the white layer go to edit menu then fill and change the contents used from black to white and click ok then the select menu and deselect now selecting the grid layer and having the magic wand tool active I'm going to click on a few more squares on the grid randomly but make it a different color once I am done selecting the squares clicking on layer 1 
I'll select the hue saturation tool and then tick the colorize option now I can change the hue to whatever color I would like it to be then also adjust the saturation to change the deepness of the color this step is totally up to how you would like it to be so we again going back to the grid layer and selecting the magic wand tool I'm repeating the steps again so a quick recap if you have forgotten is to select layer 1 then hue saturation colorize and then adjust the hue color and the darkness of the color I am choosing the color blue and remaining the layer as blue too I should have also renamed the previous layer green so I am going to do that now I am going to do the same for a different hue so selecting the grid layer again and choosing the random squares to color then select layer 1 and hue saturation menu like before tick the colorize option and choose the hue and saturation I'm going for red this time which means I'll name the layer red as well so I remember if I need to make changes or edit one last time repeating the steps and selecting the remaining squares on the grid that haven't been colorized so make sure you are on the grid layer before selecting the squares then once done click layer 1 hue saturation and colorize then of course change the hue and saturation I'm going for yellow to add some variety and don't forget to rename the layer to whatever color you use moving on from that I'm going to select the grid layer and click on the lock icon then add a stroke effect to do this click on the add a layer style icon then stroke here you can change the settings to your preference I'm going to change the color to white and the size to 2 then click ok feel free to play around with the options available lastly we need to save our work of art so file save as then browse to your desired location and save as jpeg format increase the quality and click ok so this was my tutorial on how to create a colorful grid effect i hope you have learned something new today and thank you so much for watching please don't forget to like comment share and of course subscribe to my channel see you again soon